Today we're going to talk about streaming. WebEx Meetings and Events already has built-in integration for streaming to vBrick, Facebook Live, and IBM video streaming. Now Cisco has expanded to other third-party streaming platforms such as YouTube Live, Workplace from Facebook, Twitter with Periscope, essentially any RTMP or RTMPS that's real-time messaging protocol secure, allowing WebEx meetings to be streamed. What's required? A host account and an account on the third-party platform that you're using. Here's an example of streaming live my WebEx meeting to YouTube. As you can see, I'm already in a meeting joined with my WebEx meeting app on my desktop or I could also start streaming using my Android mobile device. Now in preparation to stream to YouTube, I have my browser open to my YouTube studio screen. So let's start streaming. In the control bar, I'm going to go to the dots and start live streaming. For YouTube, I select other streaming services. And then I enter the streaming information. This one is going to be for the YouTube platform. And then I'm going to get the stream link and the stream key from the YouTube platform itself. So let's open up the browser. Here is my URL. We're just going to copy and paste this information. There's one. And here's the stream key. There's two, and we start streaming. And then you can see up in the upper right-hand corner of the meeting window that we are indeed live. And remember, though, it's important to note that during your meeting, all of the content in a WebEx meeting, of course, is secure. However, when you begin to stream content to third-party streaming solution, WebEx no longer owns or manages the security and privacy of the content. Therefore, we ask that you please refer to the streaming service for information about security, privacy, and content retention. Now, let's go back to our streaming platform to see the actual stream. And there we are. We are streaming live. Now to end it, we can end it here from the platform itself, or we can go back to our meetings app, stop live streaming, and that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.